Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. We are ready now. We've got shotguns, we've got health. Make sure that's fully loaded. We are now ready to take on the uh, Super Crimson Head, I guess you could call him. I'm pretty sure that the Crimson Head we're about to face is the architect of the mansion. Uh, Trevor, whatever isn't it? George Trevor, I think it is. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain it is him. Although, he disappeared in 1967, so it might not be him. I don't know. Could just be some, in a, some poor innocent schmuck who was sent over from uh, the facilities in RE0. See what you're about, kid. Nice of him to wait. Hi, Trevor. Shit. Um. Okay. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Oh, it's got more shotgun shells. All that preparation. Oh well. Always be prepared, as the saying goes. Hey, birds. How did you guys even get in here? Alright, we can now go outside the mansion to new areas. Come on then. Oh, you bitch. You dead? Yeah, you dead. More shotty shells, thank you. Grenade, yes. I always save the grenades and I end up not using them. I might get myself caught a couple of times just so I can purposely use them. Blindly slow down. I think that's right. You face that way. No. We have a communication. Wesker?
don't think he heard you, Chris. And I'm going to ignore your advice, Wesker. We know what you're about. Yes! Oh shit, I should have brought the uh, wind thing with me. Oh no, it's fine, I can pick it up from where we're going because we're coming back this way anyway. I'd rather not waste my shotgun shells on the crows, so I'll, it's probably best I ignore it for now. Time to switch back to the old shotty gun, um, handgun rather. Who could that be, I wonder? Yes, we'll take them out of the courtyard. Thank you. A family picture. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first. Mom attached second. Inside red and slimy. White and hard. Not true, Mom. Where? Dunno, Dad. Found Mum again. When attached, Mummy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Four. Mum, where? I miss you. Oh, that doesn't sound particularly pleasant. Right. Drop this lot off. Got a nice amount of health going on. I don't like this big gap here. That's better. A cranky yank. Hi Lisa, is that your mummy you're wearing? Oh, cow bag. Unless you have the rocket launcher, the only thing you can do with Lisa is run. Let's grab these. Zambino. Oh shit. Fuck. You're not doing the thing. I, for I for completely forgot that uh, when they're elevated, the zombies, the early zombies, tend to puke on you.
There we go. Wasted more ammo than needed, but. Done the job. Yep, take one of those, one of these, and that one too. The sun. Yes, the best gun in the game. I always like the magnums always been my favourite, especially against zombies. A guaranteed head explosion. I might stick to my usual schedule and just do the remakes for this playthrough and then do a separate playthrough of the originals. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad? Damn. This thing's broken. Uh, I don't want to waste grenades on these guys. Shit! No map down here. I think that's probably in, in the original. Ari. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to doing the remix for now just to keep the uh, continuity of these going. And I will do a separate playthrough of the original lore for the first three games. Afterwards, like later down the line, I, I won't do it immediately after completing this saga playthrough. So I imagine even I will be a bit burnt out on Resident Evil after after that. And plus, with the Silent Hill news for Dead by Daylight, I'm quite keen to. Uh, delve back into the world of Silent Hill once I can find copies to play through
Hey crows. I'll have to grab those herbs later. I don't really have the health to deal with you. And I'd rather not die by crow. That's a tad embarrassing. Oh no, snackers! I wonder if those are just regular infected snakes or if they're going to get as big as yawn is. Three blue herbs there. Spray in a bit. Dump you there. <coughs> uh, might have to switch back to the shotgun for a bit. So let's get that down us. Okay, get a quick picky of this. Oh shit, I've still got the timer switched on my camera. Fuck. Alright, where's the timer setting? Let's turn that bitch off. Okay, a strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? It does, Chris. Silhouette hovers in the green light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Grab this as well. Finally, 
that one as well. Okay, orange five, green six, red three. Is there anything else in this room that I haven't collected? Apparently there is. Ah! There we go. items off. Don't know why I kept the crank, don't need it. So we'll get rid of that as well. Uh, ditch the red book for now as well because I don't need it currently. Keep the shotgun. Go grab these blue herbs. I like how everything's colour coded in the Resident Evil universe. If you're poisoned, blue herb. If you need a quick pick me up, green herb. If you're absolutely knackered, red and green. Green now. Yes. That door is locked. Don't grab the map yet. Otherwise, uh, so we'll get attacked by murder wasps. One of you. Double O one. There we go. Shit. Thank you. I'll have my dagger back too. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, well, we're here. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at, four, at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a significantly stronger effect on this one. 
The T virus was drastically morphed its host's anatomy. The T virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its roots, somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring ever since the basement, ever since the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to, to we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it's used. We, sh we are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacles, tentacle-like vines, are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have, have already fallen victim to this plant. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a ten tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported it reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way it Jesus Christ. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May twenty first, nineteen ninety eight, Henry Sarton. I can't read today. What's going on? Alright, let's get these done while we're here. A sacred room! But not yet. You can't tempt me like that. so we don't get vine whipped. Yes. You just keep napping, friend. Nothing for you here. And what do you have to say for yourself? I missed a guarantee head, guaranteed head pop. <coughs> Excuse me. Self defense gun. Suicide note. June twenty second. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. 
knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Oh dear. A bit was worth it, friend. I mean, it probably wasn't. Alright, and on that depressing note, we're going to end this episode here. You know, when I was younger, I always thought it would be quite cool to be a scientist, like working with... Like, doing experiments and whatnot. Unfortunately, I am not uh, smart enough for that kind of thing, and I don't think I'd have the patience for it either. If you've watched my Final Fantasy VII playthrough, you'd know I get frustrated quite easily. It's not something I'm proud of. I would like to be able to one day get better at managing my frustrations but for now all I can do is hope to get better thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys if you liked it like subscribe ding that bell I've been Sigmalator this has been Resident Evil and I'll catch you next time take care now